Underwater weed lines are hotbeds of bass activity. Up next, John explains how you can trigger topwater strikes along these magical edges. There he is right there, that's the first cast. Look at that. I didn't even get to pop it. It landed and I was just getting turned and set up and this fish scooped it right off the surface. He didn't explode on it, he just scooped it. Look at this, we're bringing in some weeds with him and look at that, what a way to start a morning. Holy smokes, I mean he just, it was, it was like he just scooped it off the surface. You could just all of a sudden he just kind of popped up there and grabbed it. Wow, <laughs> what a way to start. Holy smokes. Well, he's by no means a giant. But anytime you make your first cast of the day and a fish just sees it, heard it land and decides he's gonna hit it, holy smokes, you can't beat that. <laughs> Man, was that cool. Look at that, we'll clean that grass up in a minute, but. <laughs> Look at that. What a cool way to start a morning. That's awesome. Get out of here, buddy. All right. <laughs> Man, that was something else. I, I just, no expectation there that before I could even pop it, I was going to get bit. But that fish, he just, he heard it land and he must have just tuned in on it and just went and found it. <laughs> That's awesome. We're gonna do some bass fishing this morning, and this is this is some of my favorite stuff. It's I, I really do enjoy this. I was planning on going walleye fishing this morning, and then I looked at the weather forecast, and it came up with light and variable winds. Beautiful morning. It's warm. It's midsummer, and I looked at it and thought, how can I pass up this? <laughs> you know, chance to go get topwater fish out on the edges of weed beds. I decided the heck with it. Shifted gears at nine o'clock last night. I changed some of the gear in the boat and got myself ready to go bass fishing in. If that's any indication of how it's gonna be, it was a good choice. That's a heck of a start right there. All right. There he is right there, look at that. Second, you know, second little area, probably five casts now. Look at that. Another good one. <laughs> That's awesome. Holy moly, are they chewing this morning. That guy's got it down his throat enough. I'm gonna have to grab him like a, a little bit more like a walleye. Look at that. Man, oh man. That's one of the coolest things in the world as far as I'm concerned is being out here to see bites like this. Most people are still sleeping. <laughs> Sun's just coming up. And these fish are snapping right away this morning. Look at that. <laughs> All right. Let's see if we can find a couple bigger ones, but man, what a start. Holy moly. I guess it was a good choice to be out here doing this. Got him. That one feels like a better fish. Yeah, this is a good fish. Come here, buddy. Good fish. Oh, yeah. Nice bass. A little bit better fish. Yep, nice fish. Come here, buddy. Look at that. Awesome. <laughs> That's three fish in about 10 minutes throwing an edge, and that's what we're doing here. I'm just throwing an edge. Not even going up into the thickest stuff. 
I'm just throwing right along this edge. And what's happening is these fish are just cruising this edge. There he is right there. Come here, buddy. There's another good one. Man, think they're firing this morning? Holy smokes. They are firing, there is no doubt about it. Look at that, that's awesome. Got him. Man, this one feels like a pretty good fish. Or he's just pretty wound up. Oh no, he's not as big as I thought. I thought he was gonna be bigger than that. He's good bass though. Man, I wanna show you what I'm using. I mean, I'm just wrecking them here. This is crazy. The speed at which we're catching these fish is just crazy. It's just one after another here. But I wanna show you what I'm using because it's really, a super neat bait, another great bass. This is the Arbogast Hula Popper. And man, I'll tell you, this bait has been around forever. It was concepted and first built back in the 1930s. I mean, we're going on, we're knocking on the door of a hundred years with this bait. And what's so great about it is it is the perfect bait for the conditions that I'm fishing this morning. I'm trying to fish edges. I'm not going up into the thick stuff. I'm just fishing edges, right out where that, that weed line's gonna stop and is gonna drop, and then you're gonna have underwater weeds. It's the kind of stuff that you could not get to pitching a plastic or something like that because you're gonna get hung up in the weeds nonstop, okay? So it is the perfect edge bait because ultimately it allows you to go right over the top of all that stuff. But the, the hula popper makes this distinct sound. It's kind of like a sploosh, sploosh. It's, it's a really neat sound that the hula popper makes. And it's distinct enough that it grabs the attention of these bass because there's two bass I'm trying to catch here. I'm trying to catch the bass that are up in the thicket this morning and I'm trying to call them out to me. Okay, but at the same time, it enables me to be fishing the fish that are on the weed line. And if you can be fishing both of those fish, you're gonna up your odds of catching. I mean, I'm catching them as fast as I pitch right now. It's just crazy, but man, that's just an awesome bait. It's the Arbogast Tula Popper. Here's the thing, you can get this in a variety of sizes, a variety of colors, and <laughs> it's easy. It's easy to fish, but that big, big front end, that big lip, it gives off that distinct sound that grabs their attention and just makes them want to attack it. And I mean, it's working. It's doing exactly what it's supposed to do right now. Good spot. There he is. Got him. Man, <laughs> good bass too. Good one, look at that. Nice fish. Come here, buddy, you gotta be a little careful. A little different than a frog, you know, you do gotta remember that you gotta expose treble hooks, but, but you know what? Another fun fish. <laughs> Get out of here, buddy. That's awesome. I just had a feeling when I made that cast that there had to be a fish there. Got him. Boy, did that guy rail it. Good fish. Really good fish. Look at that. Man, that is just awesome. But this is a great example because we're getting into that time of the day where the topwater bite most people think is done. Better fish, one of our better fish of the day. Most people think the topwater bite's wrapped up, but here's the deal, is just move to the edges. It's just, you know, this morning I fished edges and I caught fish, 
but now this topwater bite at this time of the day is just moving further and further out to the edges. That's an awesome fish. Get out and do this, man. Just use the right baits. Use the baits that are gonna hit those edges. Hula poppers are awesome. Look at that. That is just, just a ball, man. <laughs>